Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm just going to do a very short video today about an update on my Myora. So if you look back about a week ago, I did a video on a new pen day. I got this Myora Ultra Ogiva and the colorway is called Teti. As you can see in that video, I was having an issue with the pen skipping or drying out basically. And I also had an issue with the, the ebonite feed that came on the pen. Um, I was in contact with Atlas about this issue. However, I've since fixed the issue, so I don't need to send it back, which is very exciting. So I wanted just to tell you what I ended up doing to fix the issue. The skipping issue kind of got remedied by the fact that I keep this piston filling knob cracked open. When I tighten this all the way down, that's when I start to have a problem. So I don't know why that is because this is not a vacuum filler. This is a piston filler. So that issue, I'm not sure, but that's an easy enough fix if I can just crack this open on the end a little. It prevents it from drying out, which is fine, which is good. Now, the issue that I was having with the feed is that um, you can see in that video quite well that the feed was sitting up off of the nib. The, those, two, I, those two things weren't butt up against each other like they normally are. So that was concerning. Uh, a lot of people comment, commented and said that that was probably the issue with drying, the dry out. Um, so what I ended up doing is I got a comment from one of my pen pals and she told me that on the Goulet website, they have a video on there on heat setting your feed. And I think it was meant for a Noodler's Flex feed, but I ended up trying what they said on the video and it ended up working. So I heated water in the microwave in a cup for almost a minute. I think I did maybe 50 seconds. Maybe I did a full minute, but just right to under boiling. And I took the pen as is and I dunked it in that hot water and I left it there for 30 seconds. Then when I pulled it out, I, with a paper towel, just so to prevent any burns on my hands, I clamped the two things together and let it cool completely with that clamped. And now there is no more gap. It straightened out the feed just enough. I think there was just a small bit of curve in the ebonite feed and it was curving away from the nib and that was causing the issue. So that was the fix, very easy fix. Now uh, it is writing very well and I can show you that now. No hard starts. This is a medium titanium nib. There is a bit of feedback on this nib, which come to find out is to be ex expected from titanium. I did not know that. I have this inked with the wet pen, uh, Diablo Lake. And I think this is a wonderful pairing of ink and pen. Not only is the color perfect because it's this dark teal color, but uh, it is very wet. And that is exactly what this pen needs, I believe. Even though they tell me all the time that ebonite feeds are wetter than other feeds, 
I do feel like the first ink I tried, the Papier Plume, was just way too dry. And that generally worked really well in the pen I had put it in when I got the ink, so. But I have done some long journaling. I filled the page with writing and I didn't have any issues as long as this is loosened. Now let me see if I can get it to do it. I'll tighten that up. Maybe it won't now that the nib is fixed. We'll see. Oops, I'm smearing ink. Maybe it's okay. I don't know, but it writes really nicely. I wonder if you can hear the feedback. It seems even more feedback than my sailor. I think we're good, you guys. I think we're good. So I just wanted to update you. I don't have to send it back. It's working wonderfully now. And I fixed it myself, which makes me so happy. Because there's really nothing worse than having to send it back in and wait for them to fix it and send it back to you. I did that with my Leonardo Memento Zero Grande, and I was so bummed when that went down that way. But anyway, um... This is a wonderful addition to my collection. I love it. I love the ink window. That's a bonus, definitely. I love to be able to see my ink levels. And anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed um, the initial video on this pen. Let me show you that nib. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks so much for watching.